Replacing the camera mount, which is also the shock absorber for the Inspire 2. And I'm starting in reverse order because first I had to figure out how to take everything apart. So this is the new part and I fitted in the sensor cable first and plugged in the rubber gasket. <clears throat> It comes out here underneath this plastic cover and needs to be clicked in that port. As you can see the cable is plugged in and also the other shielded cable is plugged back in. And now I can reinstall this little fan duct. Duct is installed. Now I will put back in the little fan. I had taken it out so it wouldn't dangle around all the time. This has to feed through here and then plug into the little socket. Now that the connector is back in I can screw the fan back on and I want to try to keep the mount um, without strain so I won't damage the new cable right away. I will now feed in the, the other cable, which is, I think, from the encoder. Well, this is where it sits. Uh, one important thing later when you tighten everything back together, make sure you don't squeeze these cables where the little uh, two pieces go together, because that's, I think, the exact reason why I'm doing this in the first place, because Actually, this Inspire went to DJI support, and they said they replaced the part. Um, first of all, it looks like a used part, and I noticed, yeah, they squeezed the cable, which can't be good. And the app always said encoder error, and... Nothing really worked as it should. So I'm hoping I, uh, I will fix it myself. Now I think I will continue with the bottom um, with this whole FPV camera fixture. Um, yeah, this is where it starts with figuring out which screw goes where. Uh, that's why you have to keep your screws always organized. Some over there, some here. Now I just did these two and that's the, the critical one that I was telling you about that keeps together these two parts and you don't want to squeeze it there all right luckily all this basically all these silver ones have the same length so I'm not too worried about messing uh, switching things up uh, FPV camera fixture comes first we need to feed all these cable uh, for gimbal motors and camera sensor through here, attach them, and then uh, have this underneath the fan cover, attach it together. This little silver Phillips that one I remembered all right new mount is secured cables looking good why is the dust cover not on there all right let's follow up with these 
and fix this whole thing. All silver torx screws on the bottom are back in. Now I had also taken out these super tiny screws here, Phillips, that hold the plastic cover to the bottom part. And uh, over here you could even reach them only with with a bit because there's no space for a screwdriver. It's four of them underneath the arms on each side and then the ones that are better to reach over here and there. It was a good time to put back on these side covers of this main let's call it avionics bay slash camera controller because we can only put them on while the top here is off Starting up with the camera. Everything looks good. FPV camera calibrates. Camera moves. I have an image. Nice. And there's my FPV camera. Yeah. Now 
I just need to do a test flight to see everything's good. Also, when it's moving. And that it records correctly. But I think this is a success. And yeah, I don't know. I, I can't prove it, but I think that DJI actually scraps parts from yeah, from like broken machines uh, but this is not the part you want to scrap from another possibly damaged aircraft because it's uh, like one of the most uh, important parts if you don't have a good contact in these two wires then what's the point of flying if it uh, messes up all your footage Thanks, DJI.